you have a ton of sales calls, but not a lot of sales. That's either because you're not using a script to sell or you have a bad script that you're using. Well, in today's video, we're talking about how to get the perfect sales script nailed so you can help more people and make more money. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs here. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about helping the solo practitioner, the solopreneur increase sales through sales processes. And that is with the power of presentation to performance so that you get more profits in your business. So let's talk about sales scripting. So many people are like, well, I don't need a script. I can just wing it and get the sale because my product is so great. Unfortunately, that happens way too often for a lot of salespeople. And while they may get some sales, they're probably not optimizing for as many sales of it as they could get if they had a really good sales script. So we're gonna nail down the process of creating that perfect sales script so that you can help more people make more profits. Now there is no one perfect sales script, no magic bullet out there that's going to solve all of those problems. However, there is a really good sales script framework, which I'm gonna be taking through today. Let's dive into really how to nail that sales script from the very beginning. Simple. Step one, step two. Know what the problem is, understand how you solve it. And once you understand those two things, now you can develop your scripting that doesn't tell your prospect what their problem is and how you solve it, but rather gets your prospect to tell you what their problem is so then you can fit your solution exactly to the problem. And that's how you make a sale, is when you identify what the problem is, and more importantly, that your prospect identifies what their own problem is and verbalizes it, and then you show them simply how to solve that problem. Now, I actually have a sales script that I'd love to get you. It's on how to set appointments. So it's a kind of simple sales script, but really super effective, and it goes through all of this process. You can download it by clicking the link in the description or in the card right above. I make my scripts the same way each and every time, even though it's probably a different product, different service, especially when I'm consulting with my clients, I always use the same framework and it's a five-step framework that works every single time. And I'm gonna take you through it right now. The first step in that process is rapport building. And you think, oh, well, Tom, of course, get somebody to know, like, and trust you. Well, you'd be surprised. Not everybody understands what small talk is and how to ask the right questions. So you want to ask, like, how's your day? How is traffic getting here if you're seeing them in person? Tell me a little bit about your family. Things like that to open up the conversation so it gets that prospect talking about themselves and puts them at a little bit more ease. So that's step number one. That's rapport building. Once you've built rapport, now you can start to ask the kind of the tougher questions. And that's really what the second step is. Problem finding. Finding the problem of the prospect and getting the prospect to understand exactly what their problem is and getting them to verbalize what that problem is. Questions like, why did you decide to call me and set up this appointment? What's going on right now with you? What inspired you to book this consultation? I love that word inspired, by the way. I use it almost all the time in making sales scripts because it really gets that prospect to go, hmm, what did inspire me to actually book this call? And now you get a really good conversation about what the problem is. And the important part here is that the prospect is telling themselves what their problem is. And then the third step is that you need to build up the problem. So now you understand the problem through step two. Now you need to get the prospect to understand that it's a bigger problem worth solving and not solving any old time, but solving right now. And the bigger the solution is and the bigger the change, the bigger the problem needs to be because your solution or the change that the prospect is going to go through needs to completely outweigh the problem. And I ask questions like, who says it's a problem? Why do you think it's a problem? Why is it affecting you? How is it affecting you? Tell me how is this affecting you on a day-to-day -day basis? And my personal favorite is, what would happen if you don't solve the problem today? And always a good one is, 
Why me? As a question to figure out why they want you right now to solve the problem. So that's step three, building up the problem to make sure that it's a big problem that needs to be solved right now, especially in the prospect's head. And then you can go into the fourth piece. And the fourth piece is where you get to present the solution. And this is where you typically don't ask any questions, except at the very end, which is a very important question I'll go through in a second. But at this point, you want to briefly describe what the solution is using all of the information that you have from the previous questions. What is the problem? Why is it important? And identify why you take people through a certain process to then solve their problem. And then at the end, you want to take them through a really simple trial close. Is this the solution that you're looking for? Or is this what you're looking for? Is this the type of approach you're looking for? Now it gets them to go, hmm, you've just taken me through what my problem is, what the solution is, am I willing to do that solution? And you might get some yeses or noes, and now you can start to ask a few more questions before you ultimately close the sale, which the last step, step number five, is closing the sale. And this is, of course, the most important part, but one that most salespeople fail to do. They fail to ask for the sale, which is just bonkers. You just spent all this time talking to the prospect identifying what the problem is, getting them to identify how big the problem is, solving the problem for them with your solution. Now, simply ask for the sale. And I like to do it this way. After I ask, is this a solution that you're looking for? Is this the approach you're looking for? Most likely they'll say yes. And when they say that, well, that's great. Well, let's get you the help that you need so you can stop being on this roller coaster ride of ups and downs and finally get the help that you want, okay? And then they're going to say, yeah, that's great. Let's get me the help. Wonderful. Did you want to put that on a Visa or MasterCard? And boom, you got a sale out of it. And there's no trickery. There's no fancy closing techniques or anything like that. It's a simple five-step process to build up that sales script so you nail it every single time. Now that you have the framework, now you can develop that sales script. And I've actually recorded another video that I think you're going to really love because it's all about how to sound more natural when reading a script so you don't sound like you're reading a script, even though you might have that script right in front of you. So go ahead and check that video out. And until next time, you have a great day.